Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation on our project Car License Plate Reader. In this project, we had to build an algorithm using MATLAB that would extract information from an image of a license plate. It should be able to identify capital letters, numbers, dash and blank space from the image. We tried to adopt a very simple yet natural flowchart to develop our algorithm. When a person tries to read a license plate, he focuses on the significant portion of the plate and filters out or ignores the rest. He identifies each letter, matches them against the alphabet in his memory and successfully understands what is written on it. This is exactly what we tried to implement in our algorithm. The user simply has to load the image on the program and it would recognize the letters. Now let's take a closer look at how the algorithm was implemented. In the first stage, we ask the user to load the image of the license plate using graphical user interface. Once the image is loaded on the program, it goes through the second stage, filtering. This stage converts the true color image into a binary one and on the process, it filters out unnecessary information and noises. Once we have the filtered and converted binary image, we move to the third stage, identifying the zone of interest. We use the image processing toolbox of MATLAB to figure out the connected components in the binary image. The alignment, height and position of these components are taken into consideration and the program figures out which set of components actually holds the required information and selects it. On the fourth stage, the program sends snaps of these selected components to our read letter function. This function matches the snap against a pre-recorded database which is analogous to the alphabet in our memory. Using the value of correlation coefficient, the function identifies each letter and returns it. The program saves the letter in a string. To identify space, the program simply judges the distances between the letters and when the distance is significantly large than the average, it inserts a white space in the string. Similarly, if a little rectangular symbol is found between the letters, a dash is inserted into the string. Finally, the graphical user interface displays the string to the user and completes its task. Now let me choose a different image and run the program. Here you see, it recognizes the letters. Hope you enjoyed our presentation. It was a great pleasure working on the project and we thank sincerely our teachers for all the assistance. Have a nice day. Thank you.